What's going on guys, this is Burris. I want to talk to you today about camoing your rifle. Now I've done a video in the past in regard to multi-cam uh, painting your rifle, which I didn't really think was a, a great video. Um, I'll put a link to it down below. But a, a way that I've recently come about actually painting a rifle is through using uh, netting and such and layering on the paint. So what, what you have to do to get the end result is whatever you want the main color to be is going to be the last color you put on. The first colors you put on are going to be your accent colors. So as this for is as an example here, you can see the lighter um, tan that's in this pattern. That was the very first layer that I put on this gun. And then what I did was I went ahead and put the next layer on with some netting, like such. I went ahead and put a couple layers of the netting, and you want to put them a couple different ways, whatever, like that, and then I sprayed that on. When I got to the last layer, which I wanted to be the main layer, what I did was I only did one layer of netting. So as to, you know, keep the pattern that way. You can even kind of do something like this, where you kind of have a little bit of difference throughout the pattern. But the, the main thing to do is, I know a lot of people are asking me questions about how to paint their rifles, and I'm not an expert on that. You know, I have some tips here and there from some friends. But what I've come to find out is, you know, the, the best way to go about it is lighter also when you're doing colors. You can always darken up a uh, color pattern, but you don't want your color pattern to be too dark. So as, as far as it comes to colors, you can see here that there is some light colors throughout, and you want to have light colors. You don't want to go too dark on a color pattern because, you know, it's very easy to darken your rifle when you're out in, you know, the wilderness, etc. But it's very difficult to lighten it back up. Um, so basically, the, what you really want to do with your with your camo pattern is keep it pretty light. You can have some dark spots here and there, but you know to keep it pretty light you know, on most of it is what you're going to want to do. Now, on this one, I have a really light t um, tan. I have a, a dark kind of like forest green. I have coyote, and I have um, like a an, an, uh, field drab or olive drab, earth brown. So I have about four or five colors in this. Um, in this pattern here, you can see both sides are a little bit different, and you know that's kind of what you're going to see. But you definitely want to get some lightness into your your color pattern. So basically, when you're taping off your parts, what you want to tape off, you know, at least for my uh, taste, is I don't like to I don't like to uh, paint over things that are in a you know functional manner. So the locking tab and and lug here, the locking lug and tab, you know, those are metal, and I want them to, to go smoothly. As far as, you know, the top here where I have the painter's tape, you can see, you know, I want this part, this isn't going to show when I have it locked into the gun, and it's not going to show when it's in a pouch. So, you know, what I like to do there is leave this, you know, nice and smooth, and, it's, and this one's a black magazine normally, so I like to keep that the way it is, and, you know, not kind of screw around with that so that it's a nice and smooth operating end of the gun. So that's just a couple of things that I do. Hopefully that'll help you. Uh, I do have an article on CaptainBirds.com which is going to reference this and be a little bit more detailed with a few more pictures and high definition pictures. So if you want to check that out, that link will be down below. So if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and let me know. If you guys have your own camo um, ideas and things that you've done, go ahead and make a video response to this video. And until next time, it's like, you know, they've been asking me how to, what, what color coordination, what, what the fuck am I making, a dress here? <laughs>